absorption by roots types of water and soil relations take a look at the diagram showing water soil relations Important terms and their definitions. Imbibition, the process in which living or dead cells, in their dry or semi-dry state, absorb water by surface attraction, is called imbibition. For example, dry peas or bean seeds, when soaked, swell due to water imbibition. Diffusion, all substances are made of molecules, which move with the help of their own kinetic energy. Thus, when molecules of a substance move from a higher concentration to a lower concentration, to equalize the concentration, the process is called diffusion. For example, perfume sprayed in one corner of the room can be smelt everywhere in the room. Potassium permanganate, when added to water, gives the water a purple color. Plasmolysis In continuous exosmosis, in a hypotonic solution, water comes out of the cell due to which the protoplasm shrinks and moves away from the cell wall. This is plasmolysis. Incipient plasmolysis is the initial stage of plasmolysis and a cell can regain its turgidity if subjected to endosmosis at this stage. Permanent plasmolysis in permanent plasmolysis, continuous and excess exosmosis leads to permanent plasmolysis. The cell cannot revert to its original turgidity even if subjected to endosmosis. This results in cell death. Turgor pressure and turgidity Due to endosmosis, a cell undergoes distension, which gives rise to pressure between the cell sap and elastic cell wall. The cell wall tries to compress the protoplasm and the cell sap, whereas the cell sap tries to extrude out of the cell. The state is called turgidity. Turgor pressure The actual hydrostatic pressure developed inside a cell due to endosmosis is called turgor pressure. Suction pressure. The pressure which causes entry of water in the plant cell is called suction pressure. Wall pressure. The inward pressure exerted by the stretched cell walls on the cell contents is called wall pressure. Flaccidity. When living cells are subjected to exosmosis, they lose water and turgidity is lost, making the cell soft and limp. These cells are called flaccid cells. Absorption of water by root The diagrams on the screen show root and a part of it enlarged to show root hairs and absorption of water by root. Absorption of minerals Mineral absorption is an independent process. These are not absorbed with water. Most of the minerals of soil occur in ionic forms. Minerals are absorbed by two methods, passive absorption and active absorption. Passive absorption occurs when the rate of transpiration is very high in the aerial part. The root cells are inactive in this type. Active absorption occurs when the rate of transpiration is very low and the quantity of soil is high. Root pressure Root pressure is the pressure exerted by liquid contents of cortical cells of the root 
due to accumulation of absorbed water. Root pressure forces the water into xylem vessels and up to a certain height. Amazing! Beside roots, some plants also absorb water through their leaves. The leaves of redwood, Secoa sempervirens tree, absorb water from the fog in which they are frequently bathed along the California coast. Certain epiphytes, such as orchids, absorb moisture from the atmosphere by their specially modified hanging roots or aerial roots.